Hello, elementary school. Tonight, Amelia and I, we are going to read to you Amelia, Amelia Bedelia, and it is by Peggy Parrish. Tonight, Amelia and I have on our silly headbands. Um, that's part of our silly hat, crazy hat, crazy hair. And um, we both have curly hair, so it's always kind of crazy. So we match, right, Mia? Mm -hmm. Great, okay. <laughs> Amelia Bedelia by Peggy Parrish. Oh, Amelia Bedelia, your first day of work and I can't be here, but I made a list for you. You do just what the list says, said Mrs. Rogers. Mrs. Rogers got into the car with Mr. Rogers and they drove away. So Amelia Bedelia is the housekeeper. My, what nice folks. I'm going to like working here, said Amelia Bedelia. So do you think she's gonna be a great housekeeper? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Amelia Bedelia went inside. Oh, such a grand house. These must be rich folks. Did you slide down? Yeah. But I must get to work. Here yeah. I stand, just looking. And me with a whole list of things to do. Amelia Bedelia stood there a minute longer. I think I'll make a nice surprise for them. I'll make my lemon meringue pie. I'm good at making pies. I'm good at making yummy. pies. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So Amelia Bedelia went into the kitchen. She put a little bit of this and a pinch of that into a bowl. She mixed and she rolled. This is going to be the funny part. Okay, but shh, don't tell them. Soon her pie was ready to go into the oven. There, said Amelia Bedelia, that is done. Shh, I know because we read it. Now let's see what the list says. Amelia Bedelia read. Uh, boys and girls, I have to prep you. Amelia Bedelia in this book, she's very, very straightforward. So she sometimes gets things a little mixed up, but that's what makes it a good story. So the message read, change the towels in the green bathroom. Amelia Bedelia went into the green bathroom. Change the towels? Those towels are very nice. Why change them, she thought. Then Amelia Bedelia remembered what Mrs. Rogers had said. She must do just what the list told her. Well, all right, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia got some scissors. She snipped a little here and snipped a little there. And she changed those towels. They, she cut them. That... Do, you, do you think that's what they wanted? No. No. There, said Amelia Bedelia. She looked at her list again. Dust the furniture. Did you ever hear of such a thing? At my house, we undust the furniture, but to each his own way. Amelia Bedelia took one last look at the bathroom. She saw a big box with the words dusting powder on it. Well, look at that, a special powder to dust with, exclaimed Amelia Bedelia. So Amelia Bedelia dusted the furniture. That should be dusty enough. My, how nice it smells. Mia, would you want your house dusted? No. no. They meant undust, right? Undust. Like, put all the way. Right, take the dust away. Draw the drapes when the sun comes in, read Amelia Bedelia. She looked up. The sun was coming in. Amelia Bedelia looked at the list again. Draw the drapes? That's what it says. I'm not much at handwriting, but I'll try. No, she's really good. She's good. So Amelia Bedelia sat down and she drew the drapes. She didn't mean that. That's not what the lady meant. She meant to close the drapes, right? Amelia Bedelia marked off about drawing the drapes. Now what? Put the lights out when you finish in the living room. Amelia Bedelia thought about this a minute. She switched off the lights, then she carefully unscrewed each bulb. She said, Put on the lights. Not take them outside. And Amelia Bedelia put the lights out. So those things need to be aired out too. Just like pillows and babies. Oh, I do have a lot to learn. My pie, exclaimed Amelia Bedelia. She hurried to the kitchen. Oh, just right. She put it on the kitchen counter for it to cool. Measure two cups of rice. That's next, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia found two cups. She filled them with rice, and then she measured them. What measure? 
with the measuring tape. Do you think they wanted her to measure it with measuring tape? No, they said cook. They meant cook the rice. Amelia Bedelia laughed. These folks do want me to do funny things. Then she poured the rice back into the container. She's so confused. Poor Amelia Bedelia. The meat market will deliver a steak and a chicken. Please trim the fat before you put the steak in the ice box and please dress the chicken. When the meat arrived, Amelia Bedelia opened the bag. She looked at the steak for a long time. Yes, she said, that will do nicely. You know she's gonna do something crazy, boys and girls. Yeah. Amelia Bedelia got some lace and a bit of ribbon. And Amelia Bedelia trimmed the fat before she put the steak in the ice box. Now I must dress the chicken. I wonder if she wants a he chicken or a she chicken, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia went right to work. Soon the chicken was finished. Boys and girls, do you think they wanted Amelia to dress the chicken with clothes? No. no. Amelia Bedelia heard the door open. The folks are back, she said. She rushed out to meet them. Mm -mm. Amelia Bedelia, why are all the light bulbs outside? Asked Mr. Rogers. The list just says to put them out, said Amelia Bedelia. It didn't say to bring them back in. Oh, I do hope they didn't air too long. She is so confused, but we love her. Amelia Bedelia, the sun will fade the furniture. I asked you to draw the drapes. I did, see, said Miss Amelia Bedelia. She showed her the picture. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. She meant close up. Then Mrs. Rogers saw the furniture. The furniture, she cried. Did I dust it well enough, asked Amelia Bedelia. That's such a nice dusting powder. Mr. Rogers went to wash his hands. I say, he called, these are very unusual towels. Mrs. Rogers dashed into the bathroom. Oh, my best towels, she said. Didn't I change them enough, asked Amelia Bedelia. Mrs. Rogers went to the kitchen. I'll cook the dinner. Where is the rice I asked you to measure? Well, I put it back in the container but I remember it measured two and a half inches, said Amelia Bedelia. This woman. <laughs> Was the meat delivered, asked Mr. Mrs. Rogers. Yes, said Amelia Bedelia. I trimmed the fat just like you said. It does look nice. Mrs. Rogers opened the ice box. Lace? Ribbons? Oh, dear. The chicken. You dressed the chicken? Asked Mrs. Rogers. Yes, and I found the nicest box to put them in, said Amelia Bedelia. Box? exclaimed Mrs. Rogers. Mrs. Rogers hurried over to the box. She lifted the lid. There lay the chicken, and he was just as dressed as he could be. Look at Mrs. Rogers' face, that poor woman. Mrs. Rogers was angry. She was very angry. She opened her mouth. Mrs. Rogers meant to tell Amelia Bedelia she was fired. But before she could get the words out, Mr. Rogers put something in her mouth. It was so good, Mrs. Rogers forgot all about being angry. What was it? Oh, Lemon so meringue pie. Lemon meringue pie, she exclaimed. I made it to surprise you, said Amelia Bedelia. So right then and there, Mr. and Mrs. Rogers decided that Amelia must stay, and so she did. Mrs. Rogers learned to say, undust the furniture, unlight the lights, close the drapes, and things like that. Mr. Rogers didn't care if Amelia Bedelia trimmed all of his steak with lace. That was better. That was fun. All he cared about was having that lemon meringue pie. I want to eat right now. What do we say at the end of the book? The, the, the end. Boys and girls, good night. I hope you had a wonderful time listening to our story. Me and Amelia love you and we miss you and we'll see you soon.